Hello guys, this is Joyce from Enjoy Scrapping 2. Sorry about my voice. Um, today I'll be making a card using uh, Gerd Standard Designs brand new stamp set called Monster Fun. This will be released August 16th and you can purchase this on Gerd Standard Designs store on August 16th. Uh, I'll leave the links below, but for some reason, if it's not there, it'll definitely be there on August 16th. So go ahead and check that out. This stamp set is super cute. I love these monsters. This uh, top monster here reminds me of a baby monster playing with this little toes. And then this uh, monster here, um, I just love his face, super cute. And then this little monster peeping out of a present. This stamp set also has tons of sentiments that you can mix and match to create for any occasion. And um, there's also these little stamps that you can add to these monsters or you can use them separately if you like so this stamp set is very versatile just like all of her st other stamp sets they're very versatile so let's get started so today i'll be using one of these monsters and um, what a sentiment and I have some things uh, pre-cut I'll be using paper temptress cardstocks today and I'm using these uh, two vellum that I have used uh, previously before I personally love vellum and um, I have a hard time finding like a pattern vellum and so um, I absolutely love these vellums and um, the bottom is the sky blue striped vellum and the top is the peach vellum stripe I'll have all the names and the links in the description box below so you can check them out. I also have a stitched rectangle that I cut here using uh, Mama Elephant's Femme Frame Die. So um, this Speech Bubble die is from My Favorite Things. And what I like about this uh, speech bubble die is that it has stitching on both the positive and the negative um, part. So I chose out two of the dies and I cut them out. And I kind of curved this sentiment that says, do I smell cake? I thought it was perfect for uh, this monster. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp it. Sorry, my uh, big head keeps getting in the way. But I wanted to make sure that I get them lined up perfectly because I'm going to layer these two um, vellum pieces and I want the sentiment to be visible. So it fits perfectly like so. And I'm going to leave them off to the side so that it'll dry. And then now I'm going to uh, stamp the monster. I'm deciding if I want to stamp the cupcake here, but I decide not to, sorry. And as you'll see in uh, the pictures at the end, uh, how I finished it off. 
using that cupcake stamp. Now I'm stamping the monster and I'm using the My Favorite Things Hybrid Black Licorice Ink because I will be using um, some alcohol markers. And the alcohol markers I'll be using today is the Shin Han Touch Twin Brush Markers. I love these markers. They blend very well. So lately I've been loving um, this look of three different colors mixed together. So these three colors wouldn't necessarily be the uh, colors that I would choose if I wanted to get a perfect blend. So I have chosen a pink, a purple, and a deep blue. I wanted like the uh, gradation ombre look. So here I'm starting out with my uh, middle color and I'm trying to kind of uh, blend just a little bit of where the two colors meet. So I'm kind of doing the tip to tip method because I want to get rid of that harsh line. He's super cute. So I'll continue to go back and forth until I achieve um, the color that I like. So uh, this week I haven't been feeling too well. So um, I don't completely finish up this card, but I'll um, add, uh, add to the design uh, off camera later on, which is what you see in the pictures. So the bottom, I'm using this really deep ultramarine so it's a really dark blue and I like the way this looks so for um, the I'm giving him a ground using some W5 and a W1 and then I'm going to go ahead and color his horn using a yellow and a terracotta and next I'll be using uh, my Uniball Signo white gel pen and I'm going to color in his teeth and his eyes because I want them to be really bright white I'm also adding some dots just to give some added interest. So I decided to make this card pretty simple. Sorry about my voice. So this is, uh, as you can see, um, like a shimmery cardstock. I believe this is uh, mica metallic and it might be the crystal. I try to keep uh, Paper Temptress cardstocks uh, in order so that I'll know the name of the color, I mean uh, the cardstocks that I'm using until I get familiar with the um, names of these cardstocks. But I uh, kept that out since the last time I used it. But again, I'll have all the links uh, in the descriptions below. So this is how I'm going to um, have it look. And this is how um, I end the video. But you'll see in the picture that I added some sequence 
along with another sentiment on the left because it seemed to bear along with a cupcake and this finishes off my card for today thank you so much for stopping by and i'll catch you guys next time thanks so much bye